Hello and welcome back to IASTEC. Today we are going to learn how to open a model dialog using Angular Material with just a few lines of code. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to add interactive models to your Angular application with ACE. So let's get started. Before we dive into the code, make sure you have Angular CLI installed and your Angular project ready. If you are new to Angular, check out our previous tutorials to get up to speed. First things first, we need to install Angular Material in our project. So for that, open your terminal and run this command. So here choose a theme and set up the global typography and enable browser animation when prompted. Now let's import the mad dialog module to our app.module file. This module contains the logic for the model dialog. Next, we are going to create a new component that will act as our model. So let's call it example dialog. You can do this uh, very easily by running this command in your terminal. ng generate component example. I just name it dialog. Press enter. This will immediately generate a component dialog and it will declare it in the app module. In our uh, dialog component, let's add some simple HTML for the demonstration purpose. Here I will add h2 and example dialog mat dialog title. So these are the directives that are coming from the, the module that we just imported in the app module like this. So we have added mat dialog module. After doing that, these directi directives are available to use. Now we will add a section for mat content. And here we have added the content for the dialog. And at then we will add the section for the actions. In the action, you can add your buttons. So for example, I would like to add button with the mat button directive with the mat dialog clause directive. So the benefit of adding uh, these directive is that whenever these buttons are clicked, it will uh, trigger the cancel or close event for the dialog and dialog would be closed. And the benefit of passing the value in this is that whenever a user clicks on this OK button, then it will not only close the dialog, but it will also send a response back. And this will be the response. The value Boolean value true would be the response that you can listen to the component where you are opening the dialog. And CDK focus initial is that whenever you open the dialog, by default, the OK button would be in the focus already. With our model component in place, let's move on to the triggering mechanism. Open the component from where you want to trigger the model and import the mat dialog. So as we want to use it in the app component, here I will create a function, open dialog, and here I will declare a constant dialog reference. So right now, uh, this dialog property is not available. We have to inject a service from the dialog module that is the mad dialog service so for that we need to add a constructor as well and here i will add private dialog mad dialog make sure to import it from angular slash material slash dialog now in the open function you have to pass the uh, component that you want to open as the dialog or model so here i will pass uh, dialog component make sure to import it as well like this and i will pass a second argument to configure my dialog so here i can specify the width and i can also pass the data if i need to so if you pass the data then this data would be accessible in the dialog component that you can easily access with the help of the constructor right now i don't need any data so i will just skip it now i need to subscribe to the close event so that i could uh, uh, get the data that we are sending from the dialog on close so also we want to uh, find out or listen to the close event dialog ref dot after closed dot subscribe and here i will pass my callback function 
and in that callback function we will be receiving the result or data that we are sending back from the dialog on close event console the dialog was closed and i'm consoling the result that is coming from the dialog now let's add a button to our components html file which we will call our uh, which will call our open dialog method when clicked so let's do that really quick open model and let's add mat button directive to it right now this uh, directive is not available because we did not import the button module so i'm going to quickly add it all right now mat button you can also add mat raised button color primary okay and let's add the click event open dialog so whenever user clicks on that it will open the dialog now let's test it in the browser you can see we have a beautiful button if you are click if you are going to click on it you will see the dialog okay now let's inspect it and see if we see any console log so i'm going to click on the cancel and you will see that we have only one string in the console logs dialog was closed but if you click on the ok button we will see two line of strings one is the dialog was closed and second would be the value that you will send from the ok button this is a true value that you were sending from the dialog so let's quickly change the value that you are sending from here maybe you want to send an object from here so you can add abc name xyz save it now if you close it by clicking on the ok button you will see the entire object that you are sending so you can also pass that object uh, by using the property that you can define in the component ts file as well and that's it we now have a button that opens a model dialog when clicked you can further customize the dialog by adding more functionality or styling it according to your needs let's recap what we have done we have installed angular material and imported the mat dialog module we created a new component for our model dialog we implemented a method to open dialog in component we want to trigger it for, from we added a button that calls the method to open dialog so that's it thank you for watching this tutorial on ias tech don't forget to hit the like button subscribe for more awesome content and leave your questions in the comment section below happy coding see you next time